The Astralink Pro 160 is a powerful, cost-effective, easy-to-use IPPBX geared specifically for small to medium business. This presentation covers the following topics. We'll take a quick look at a network overview. We'll take a look at the components that make up the Astrolink Pro 160, which include the base unit and any of the following series of phones. The 6700i series of phones and expansion modules and the 9000i series of telephones. The MBU 400 adds additional wireless capabilities to the system and we'll follow the seven steps in the quick start guide to perform the initial setup and configuration. And last, we'll take a quick tour of the web user interface. The Astralink web user interface is a powerful interface tool that allows administrators to configure the system and perform moves, ads, and changes, while the end user can make, monitor, and manage calls from their PC's desktop. It also gives them access to customize and configure features on their Astra IP phone. The Astralink Pro grows as your business expands. It can accommodate up to 50 extensions per system. It can use SIP and analog trunking. And up to 10 Astralink Pro systems can be linked together via IP to create a WAN-linked multi-site office environment. Remote teleworking from a home office is as simple as taking an auto-discovered Astralink SIP phone and plugging it into your universal plug-and-play enabled home network. The base unit is a compact hardware design engineered and built by Astra. Astra's auto-provisioning software eliminates the need to know SIP registration or IP and MAC address information. Users simply plug in their phone, enter the extension number and password. The phone automatically communicates with the base unit and is up and running in minutes. The system can back up or restore configuration files via a compact flashcard giving the administrator the ability to archive backups. The Astralink Pro 160 supports up to six analog PSTN lines, also known as FXO ports. Each FXO port is equipped with caller ID detection and G.168 echo cancellation. The system comes with two standard analog phone ports, also known as FXS ports. The two ports are most commonly used to support fax machines. The Astralink Pro 160 has been engineered to auto-detect inbound fax calls on any FXO port and route that fax call to FXS port A. In the case of a power failure, port B is bridged to FXO port 1, ensuring your company has a lifeline to the outside world. The LAN port provides connectivity to your IP phone and if SIP trunking is used, to a SIP trunking provider. Some examples of U.S. providers would include Bandwidth.com, Megapath, AT&T's IP Flexible Reach, VOIP Net Technologies, and COVAD. And when connecting the system to the network, an external DHCP server is required for both the base unit and the phones. The Astralink Pro 160 supports external paging and has an audio input jack to allow customized music on hold. It also has contacts that can be used in conjunction with an electronic device, such as an electronic door lock. With no hidden application license or user costs, the Astralink Pro is a cost-effective, powerful, small business communication system that tightly integrates with the following Astra SIP phones and expansion modules. The 6700i series of phones and the M670 and 75i expansion modules, plus the 9000i series of phones.
The MBU400 and 420D cordless handset adds a wireless mobility option to the Astrolink Pro 160. They use DEX 6.0 technology for virtually interference-free wireless performance and added security. The MBU400 supports up to eight handsets and supports up to three simultaneous voice over IP calls. The Astrolink Pro 160 comes with a quick start guide. This guide documents seven steps to help your installation go smoothly and quickly. Let's take a quick look at these seven installation steps. Step one, unpack and check the contents. Step two, mount the base unit. It can be rack mounted, wall mounted, or placed on a desktop or table. Step 3. Connect the Astrolink Pro 160 to your network. First, connect your analog FXO line ports, connect your Ethernet LAN cable, and connect your power cable. You can connect your fax machine or other analog devices to your FXS ports now or at a later time. On the front of the unit, Make sure that your compact flash card is installed. Let's watch the status LED during the boot up process. First, the status LED is green when you power up the unit. Then the LED will flash green and red during the firmware update process. When the system is up and running and ready to use, the LED will turn green and flash repeatedly. At this point, our base unit is up and running. Step 4. Connect your administrator phone to the LAN. The administrator phone is the first phone connected to the LAN after the base unit boots up. Astra's auto discover and self provisioning process is used by Astralink Pro to discover and provision phones. Once the phone finds the Astralink Pro, it will check its firmware. If it doesn't match, the phone will automatically load the new firmware. Step 5. Now that the phone is connected to the base unit and has loaded the latest firmware, you'll be asked to answer a few simple questions to complete the setup of your administrator phone. Step 6. Log in to the web user interface. In your browser, enter the IP address of the base unit. Then enter the username and password you just created with the administrator phone. Also notice that the status of the Astralink Pro 160 is displayed on the left side of the screen. We have now confirmed we have administrator access through the web user interface. Step 7. Install and register user phones. The user phones can be installed by either using the administrator web user interface or by allowing the user to self-register their phone. This is done by plugging the phone into the LAN and answering a few simple questions. I'll demonstrate the self-registration process first. Now let's build a second user phone using the web user interface.
After following the seven steps of the Quick Start Guide, our base unit's up, our admin phone is up, we have access to the web user interface, and we've installed two user phones. Now let's go back to the web user interface, and I'll give you a quick tour of some of the other areas. With the web user interface, the administrator can access or modify any of the user accounts. This can be helpful to reset a password, modify or add a soft key, or remotely reboot their phone. Using the configuration menus, you can make global changes to your system. Your FXO lines come pre-configured to work with your auto attendant. However, through a drop-down menu, you're given a variety of options. The auto attendant can handle incoming calls. Plus, if you prefer, you can record your own customized greeting. The Astralink Pro 160 allows you to set up office hours and holiday routing. Under the maintenance menus, you can view call detail records. The call detail columns are sortable, plus you could download and import the records into a spreadsheet. The system can be backed up or restored via the onboard compact flashcard. There are two ways your Astralink Pro 160 can receive updates. You can select automatic, telling the system to check at a specific time frame. or you can manually check for an update. In this presentation, we looked at the following topics. We took a quick look at a network overview. We looked at the components that make up the Astralink Pro 160. This included the Astralink Pro 160 base unit, a large choice of phones and the two expansion modules, the MBU 400 and cordless handset, then we followed the seven steps in the Quick Start Guide to install the base unit and phones, and we took a quick tour of the web user interface. For all of us here, we would like to thank you for your interest in Astra. For more information on our award-winning products, please visit our website at www.astra.com.